the machine learning industry is powered by a large workforce of data workers that keeps the wheel of the machine learning industry running. We never think about these. They are like invisible. They're like, they're also called the ghost workers. I'm Cecilie Wunder Falkenstrøm. I'm an artist working with the artificial intelligence or machine learning. I am the international artist in residence at the, the Mindscapes project here at the Wellcome. My work is uh, called uh, The Humans Behind the Machine. A lot of data workers experience uh, depression and anxiety and PTSD from looking at a lot of horrible stuff online. So what my project is about is to make all of us aware that there is a large workforce of low-income workers that in a way slave away to keep the wheels of uh, tech capitalism running. I um, hopefully can create a space that will allow these data workers to raise their voice about the mental health issues that they are facing. I am inviting 1,000 data workers to participate in generating a community archive where they can raise their voice around what they think is uh, important to share around uh, mental health in their work life. It can also be stories about mental well-being, you know, what, what do they do when they have to relax? How do you take care of yourself when you're in front of the computer all day? What is it like to be a tiny bit in a large machine learning system? To me, Mindscape is this amazing cultural project where I, together with other artists, researchers, can come together to investigate new understandings and new discourses around mental health, where we can dare to investigate subject matters and questions that we don't really have the answers towards, but where we have a strong sense that that this is something that is vital to us as human beings to make sure that we live good and healthy lives in our relationship to each other, but also good and healthy life in connection with technology. I would love people to go out from experiencing the artwork and think about the humans behind the machines and start thinking about how can we take care of the mental well-being of the big data working labor force that we have in our time.